Well, how's it look, y'all? The solar shed, the garden shed, has the solar panels up on top, and we're moving forwards. I'm glad to be back with y'all making a video, and today we're going to talk about installing solar panels on a snap lock roof. So let's head on up and see how we do that. So on this roof, I went ahead and used the corrugated metal on this little overhang, give it a little different look. But up here, as you've seen in the previous videos, I used the snap lock roofing system. And for the solar panels, they make a fitting. This is an SN5 fitting that, uh, sorry, S5N. So the S5 clip goes on a standing seam. The S5N goes on a snap lock. And you can see how that clips in underneath the snap lock. Right. Oh, come on. Right there. It clips in underneath. And then it screw clamps to it. So there's no penetrations on the roof. And then that gives a fitting that you can fasten the brackets to for the rail system. that supports the solar panels. Now in this case, right there is a weather head and the junction box for all the wiring is tucked in in the space of the solar panel. So when you look underneath, you don't see the junction box anywhere. It's floating up behind the rail and up within the space of the solar panel. And all you see is the weather head that comes through the roof. So, we've got seven and a half kilowatts of solar on this snap lock roof. And then you've got the four and a half inches of polyisocyanurate foam insulation under that. And when you want to, when you install solar panels, you want to make sure that you get the rails perfectly parallel so that the solar panels will lay flat. You don't want to have it pitching up and back down or uh, at lippage between the panels. You want to try to get it to where it's all perfectly in one plane. And that, won't, that way you won't have your eye drawn to it later. So, those are all adjustable with slots in the brackets. This is Iron Ridge, rail, the Iron Ridge rail system. And they're fairly reasonable, reasonably priced, but easy to work with. They're a very good system to work with. And then you just need to buy these clips, the SN5, S5, sorry, S5N clips to mount to the roof. All right, so let's go back down and see the whole thing. So there it is. And we've got it centered on the roof. And we've got it slightly overhanging the step up. And that way you keep that that step up vertical piece of metal from being in the sun, which would just draw your eye to it more. So basically we shifted the panels down enough so that that's thrown in the shade most of the year. The, uh, the building itself is about finished. All the vinyl siding got, got installed. It's all finished now. The window trim looks like this when we're done. I still have a one window that needs a little bit of trim on it. You can see the flashing that I put above the window to shed water off of it. I won't do that where there's porch overhangs because we won't get that rain, that driving rain. And it's waterproof anyway, 
This flashing just keeps water from going in behind in the drainage plane behind it. Just minimizes the amount of water intrusion. None of that water would end up in the building anyway, but we want to keep it from having to getting in behind the siding if we can. We've also pulled the conduit and run all of the run all of the conduit from the electric panels over and into the building. Had a lot to do lately. So all of that is now in the building. And this piece of plywood will be behind the false wall. So in the next video, you'll see this false wall that is going to have all the electrical components mounted to it. And all of these walls will then get covered in a radiata pine plywood and pine shelving will get used. All of that's covered up here and come Monday we'll get started with that. This building is ready to go. Ceiling's already finished on this one. In the last video you might have seen that these doors were painted a bright blue. We thought that would be a good idea. Well, we changed our mind. We decided to change it to the color of the windows and we like that better. So it'll still be blue on the inside where we'll have a light blue paint, but on the outside we've decided to go with a, a more laid back trim scheme. And eventually this trim will get painted also, but this is pressure treated wood and it needs to weather for some time. We'll go ahead and get the sconces ordered. These will be handmade and they'll look really pretty when they get done. But we're pretty, uh, pretty pleased with how all of this is coming out. The, uh, the news that I tried to tell you about, well, I hinted around about it on the last video, is that uh, I'm going to be going for a while. I've been working pretty hard for the last few months on these projects. And, you know, I'm going to take a little vacation. I'm going to go scuba diving again, this time for about a month. I think I'll probably be making some videos while I'm there. I might show some construction methods in the place I'm going to be visiting. And some construction methods that you might not want to use. And also, there are some solar energy storage videos that I'm going to maybe make while I'm there. In the meantime, I'll be gone for about a month and we'll have somebody here holding down the fort while I'm gone. But the this project will be put on hold for a little while. I'll try to get all the plywood done before I leave and I may have an electrician install the panels and the wiring for the inverters. I'll probably install the panels and the inverters and then have them do the wiring for it. And then when I come back, it'll be time to finish up this project, the project at my house, and get all of it commissioned. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm glad I've gotten a little caught up so I'm able to start making videos again because this weekend is my friend's 70th birthday and I was really trying hard to get that roof done, the solar panels installed, all the siding done because she had a lot of people come in and I didn't want it to be the outside of it to be half finished. So we got it all nice and done and uh, you know I've done some things I've never tried before. I uh, I actually did my first soldering on copper plumbing and that worked out great. No leaks and this is ready for the sink. Saved a few hundred dollars on somebody on a plumber driving out here. And so don't be afraid to jump into things. Learn. 
how to do things properly, but don't be afraid to try. So, there you go. It's going to be a short video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're hoping to move forwards a little bit. I'm grateful for all the subscribers and commenters and really appreciate that. I also have a, another battery video to do really soon before I leave. And I'm going to try really hard. I promised y'all a video about, about surge suppressors. And I'm going to try really hard to get that done before I leave. That's not something I can do while I'm gone. So I'm going to try really hard to get that done. But I need a few days off now. I've been working seven days a week. I need a few days off. I'm an old man, y'all. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.